Hi, I'm Oliver Sashi. And I'm Celine. And today is our first episode. And yeah, I really hope you guys really like it. And today's topic is, it's breaking news, it just happened today, it's about Colton Haynes coming out openly gay. So, Ale, what's your feelings about that? I feel that if he's happy, then he's happy. Honestly, who cares? And it's the world, it's, it's 21st century, I mean, hello, like, we're gonna do what the hell we want. I know people have very conflicting views about it. Well, as my new husband, Colton Haynes... He is happy and he has terminal anxiety, so I feel that his female fans should be acceptable of that and respect him for who he is. I feel like a lot of the straight girls are really missing out because now he won't, <laughs> there's no chance of him. He's like oh out God. of the system. He's out of the system. He's out for me. LOLs. Dad, if you're listening to this, I love you. So. so, what are your thoughts on this? Like, your personal thoughts. Not what other people think, but, like, you. Um, I know you said that you really, like, I like have, about like, the it, but... biggest crush on him, honest. Like, he's, like, my dad. Like, no joke. Like, I would, like, if he were to be into me, i just, like, hello, hi, let's get together. Um, but as long as he's happy, I respect for who he is and what he's done. He's a good actor and all that stuff, and... I have to see more about him as he reveals him himself to the real world and not hide behind masks and identities as every gay guy does at once. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you do you, you know, whatever makes you feel comfortable, go ahead and do it. So, apparently, Colton Haynes um, posted a really heartfelt uh post on Instagram, on his caption, and so Ali is directly going to read from this, so you can go. Eh. So, um, on his post a day ago for Clinton Haynes on his Instagram, he has said, I can't thank y'all enough for the unbelievable amount of support and love you've been sending my way. Special thanks to Entertainment Weekly, at you'd say Mark Snyker for such a beautiful article. There once was a man who was afraid of his shadow. He met it. Now he glows in the dark. I am in love already. Lols on my life. JK. Um, I feel that he's happy. And all the news articles about him say that he's happy. And all this stuff. And I feel that he should be happy for who he is. And nobody should be hiding in the dark anymore either. I feel that's like so depressing so um there was a lot of speculation before he actually came out that he was actually gay and um i feel like this kind of made him maybe come out maybe had the urge to come out more than like what he did before so um la is gonna show us not show us but tell us of uh, the evidence that are in these little posts and articles and pictures about how people thought he was already gay a while ago, when Quentin Haynes had first started his career, uh, there were photos of him that this magazine had taken. I don't remember which magazine it was, but I know the magazine before. And there were some photos of him with a man, and they were very romantic photos of them too. They were very like flirty with each yeah, other, flirty. holding hands, yeah, and holding people hands, were like, hugging. Wait a and second. nobody knew about it, and Quentin Haynes had told the magazine to take it off. Because he, obviously nobody wants to know, especially if you're an actor in Hollywood, nobody wants a gay actor sometimes. So after we hear about this, you know, how Colton Haynes was really like taking out of his like privacy and being taken, taking pictures of him without even him knowing and he had to beg the whole magazine in order to get that picture like taken down. I feel like maybe Hollywood actors should be able to... Um, you know, do whatever they like without having to be photographed everywhere, having like 50,000 paparazzi like following them around, right? Don't you think? Yeah, my sisters, Kylie Jenner and Kendall Jenner. Oh, yeah. Since you guys are new here, sisters. Ali Versace is technically, not technically, related to all the Kardashians. He's very Mental. in love with them, <laughs> but like obsessed. in a sisterly way. I, of course, am like total opposite from Ale, and that's why this makes, this is our show, you know, like, he's very into social media, and I'm very, like, out of it, you know? 
Yeah. So this is why we created this podcast in order to, you know, show two different views about it. And so on my view, but, you know, out of social media, I still feel like, you know, people should, you know, paparazzi should know their place. But I also heard, I don't know if this is like speculation or real or not. I also heard that the, the celebrities actually call the paparazzi in order to get their picture taken. And because that's how celebrities make their money from paparazzi because the magazine, I think, pays them for being in their magazine. And so I heard that celebrities go ring, ring, ring. I'm going to the grocery store in my yoga pants. Come take pictures of me. So then the paparazzi would already know where they are and take pictures of them so they can become more famous and make more money. So what do you, do you feel like this is real or do you feel like this is fake? I feel that that, that's very, very, very super fake. I don't believe that people would call paparazzi, especially the Kardashians. I don't, I've known them. For their whole TV show and their whole social media. And I know Kylie Jenner hates paparazzi all her life. And paparazzi just get paid for taking photos of the Kardashians or celebrities like Kona Haynes or etc. Um, yeah, and I feel really bad if this was true because a lot of the celebrities that have kids, the kids are being taken pictures of. And I feel like the parents, if they were to call um, the paparazzi, I feel like that would be very, like, very um, bad for the, the like kids. kids. Like kids, like... Uh, North, North West, Blue she, Ivy, and then Tom Cruise's daughter when they were all about the whole divorce thing back a couple years ago. Um, but yeah. I gotta say about Northwest, like, a lot of people were getting paid just to get photos of Northwest because she was new. She was a big money maker for paparazzi, and whoever got these photos got paid a lot of money. And in one of the episodes for Caitlyn, for her show, Caitlyn Jenner, um, she would hide in her car from paparazzi because her photos would cost millions of dollars just for one or like a catalog of photos or archives. Yeah, and talking about like how new photos um, cost very much. Like I know, I don't know what these celebrity couples names were, but I saw um, that they had like a recently had a baby and the paparazzis, the whole magazines were calling them for like to be able to take a picture and they'll pay them a whole bunch of money. So the celebrities were actually being asked to take pictures of their kids in order to get money but then instead of um you know falling into like the whole money trap and like publicizing their kid what they did was they actually posted a picture on instagram so that the family would not make any money and you know the magazines wouldn't make as much money either because already the picture of the baby um was already out in the public so you know claps for you parents for making the right decision <laughs> correct yeah so i feel like Nowadays, we think of celebrities as somebody, like, special, but honestly, celebrities are, like, just normal people, but with, like, different talents than what we have, because honestly, the celebrities nowadays, if they were dressed in normal clothes, you wouldn't even know that they're a celebrity. Like, if a celebrity from a foreign country came over, you probably wouldn't even know him, and that's kind of how celebrities are, like, across the world, and I, you know, I feel like it's bad how they're, like, followed around and taking pictures of just because, you know, they have... Like, they can star in a movie or something like that. Well, in other countries like Europe and all that stuff, they have different paparazzi laws. Um, mm -hmm. I know that America barely has any paparazzi laws, and that's why right. some celebrities move out or go to vacation in other countries to get away from paparazzi since they have certain laws for them. Yeah, I feel like... Well, I know to be, taking pictures of people is not illegal. And for that, I think there's a good side and a bad side. Because it's good because then you can take pictures of policemen doing bad things. You can take pictures of people doing bad things. You know, it really helps you in defending yourself. But what's also bad is because you're allowed to take pictures of people, you can also take pictures of people that are very wrong kind of thing you know like the whole like taking pictures of the skirt that's not illegal so no matter how much you want to put a case on it you can't because that's it's like in public you know you're allowed to take pictures of people in public would that be harassment if they do it up their skirt um you know people do wish that you can make a case out of it but people who have filed um lawsuits against them lost because it's it's um part of the there's no law against it which it's kind of like pros and cons because you know you can use it for good but then you know gross disgusting nasty people use it for bad true 
So we're gonna end our podcast. Yes, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know, like. Enjoy our podcast. You can follow us and follow, follow us at SoundCloud, SoundCloud in this profile that you're listening to us. <laughs> yep, and it's Ale and Sashi and Celine. We out. Peace. Ciao, bitches. <laughs>